Is there anybody out there? Is there anybody out there? Is there anybody out there? Well, here we are, another day in June. Embro's over by the lake because I told him to stay. We did a couple laps. We we're still swimming. Let's see if I can zoom in. He's between those two rocks way up there. And there he is. I was in the water with him, but I told him to wait there while I go to the truck. happy. I mean, considering his hip condition, he still wants to be a dog. He still wants to love life, run around like a like a bull, just play. He doesn't know, you know, by doing that, that he will cause himself so much pain. So it's up to me to be very strict with him, not allow him to run around, jump around, get too excited. And maybe by the time he's, you know, three years old, hey, sit, sit. Ambrose, sit. By the time maybe he's a few years old, he'll be become accustomed to that attitude. He'll be a calm dog, I'm hoping. When they're just when they're young like this, they all they want to do is play. Can you blame them? He's not even two years old yet.
book with my poems in. I've got a bag, got a toothbrush and a comb in. When I'm a good dog, they sometimes saw me with a bone in. I got elastic pants keeping my shoes on. Got the weak, swollen hand blues. I got 13 channels of shit on the TV to choose from. I got electric light. I got second sight. Got amazing powers of observation. Yeah, this is a ten and a half year old dog that never walked and played like that for the past probably eight years of his life, seven years. The past two years have been pretty good. Thanks to the cannabis oil he gets every day. Made by yours truly. He gets microdose. He gets uh, about 2.5 milligrams, sometimes twice a day, in an extract oil form. Just a little half a pin drop on a piece of wiener. And within 10 minutes of having that oil, he's stretching, eating, drinking, pooping like a champ. And his attitude is just, the switch gets turned on and becomes a very happy dog. Hey, Ambro, back up. Yeah, you're not allowed to eat your food right now. Okay, come on back. Hmm. 
Go ahead, bud. Don't mean to bug you. I'm just showing the world that I brought up a smart Rottweiler. And anytime the, his master's hand goes into his food, he knows to back up and stop eating. Doesn't matter if it's my hand, actually. It can be Thomas's hand. Probably anybody's hand, but I wouldn't put any money on that. If you're a stranger and you quit your hand in my uh, dog's ball of food, uh, I don't give a shit what happens to you. You know that I care. What happens to you? And I know that you care. For me too. So I don't feel alone on the way to the stone. Somewhere safe to bury my bones. Any fool knows a dog needs a home. A shelter from pigs on the wing. <laughs>